Hi, so for math this week, we're introducing students to the box method, which they're going to use for multiplication. It's a cool way for students to multiply numbers and just give them a new strategy for solving. So an example would be, if we have the number 23, and we're going to take it, say, times 15, we could line them up horizontally the traditional way, or we could use this box method. So for the box method, we're going to create a big box, and then divide it into four equal parts. Then we're going to break this 23 apart. So we know that the 2 is in the tens place, therefore it stands for 20. So we'll put that in one column. And we know that the 3 is in the 1, so it's just a 3. So then we'll do the same for the 15, knowing the 1 is a 10. And then knowing that the 5 is just a 5, since it's in that 1 place. From there, we will multiply the 20 times the 10 and put it in that corresponding box. So we're going to get 200 here. Then we're going to take the 20 times the 5 and put that in its box, and we'll get 100 here. Then we're going to take 3 times 10 and put that in its box, so we'll get 30. And then 3 times 5, we're going to get 15. So once we do that, we have these four numbers, and our next step is going to be that we're going to add them together. So we'll take 200 plus 100 plus 30 plus 15. And then we're going to add those up, so we'll have a 5, a 4, and then a 345. So we get the same number as if we would type 23 times 15 in a calculator or if we did the traditional way and lined it up horizontally. But this is going to provide students a new strategy for solving and we're really focusing on them understanding place value and why the 2 is a 20 and the 1 is a 10 in the number 15. So it's going to provide them that new strategy and it's also going to come in handy when they um, begin learning about area because they're going to recognize these squares and so that'll come in handy as they get older too.